Hey guys, Amp here bringing you a new Affinity Designer tutorial, and in this tutorial we'll be going over the Asset panel. So assets are archived objects which can be accessed quickly from this panel. And you can create new assets from selecting objects, groups, and layers, and then adding from selection in the Options menu. Now up here is the Category menu, which allows you to uh, select a category or load assets into subcategories for your work. So if you're working on a new thing and you have certain buildings that are assets, you can have your building project or whatever project you choose. And within the category menu, there are subcategories, which are all of these. Now these are just assets that I have downloaded off the uh, Affinity website and uh, you can sort of drag and drop new ones on here, which allow you to see uh, new assets. There is a search if you wish to search for your asset. There are panel preferences up here, so you can create a new category, rename category, delete category, and you can import and export assets. Now, an asset is displayed as a thumbnail here, so if you wanted to sort of come up with uh, working on your different assets, and uh, each subcategory also has its own um, menu so you can rename it delete it move it up or down and it really works I have the iOS 10 asset up so you can sort of see these are all the iOS 10 sort of assets that Apple allows you to play with and it's really useful for projects that uh, you have multiple symbols or multiple uh, objects that you need to duplicate and sort of pull from so if you've already created a building and you don't want to recreate the building and want to have access to multiple uh, versions of the building, you can put it as an asset and just drag and drop over. So if you want like an alert, now I can edit this alert and if I had an app I could obviously uh, bring it over. So these are just some of uh, the assets that they give you. Um, it's really useful um, to have if you're working on app development especially and you can download multiple ones uh, around the internet so if you like this tutorial give it a thumbs up subscribe for more affinity designer and affinity photo tutorials thanks for watching